Pikachu? Uh-oh. Oh, come on, guys. Man. Pichu? No, Roy. Man. All right. I'm just not going to look. <laughs> <laughs> we gave you guys a chance. <laughs> come on, man. The moment you do Pichu, you lose all integrity. <laughs> uh. All right. Oh, and a missed rest right off the bat. Doesn't get punished for it too hard. Yep. And it looked like Javi tried to actually save Twin there, but ended up hitting him. Mm -hmm. Okay, there it is. Are we going to have a double tail spike? Okay. I was about to say, that would have been an odd shot like no other. Oh, man. What they call those a happy birthday? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the melee version of a happy birthday? <laughs> Let's go. Smart, but Axe still manages to get it. This guy. Dude, he could go all the way at the bottom of the stage and recover like it's nothing. He doesn't even need to see the enemy. They... See, look at this wild card, Axe. <laughs> That's it, man. Vicious Vish, you know. <laughs> Axe going in. What's going on right now? Yeah, man, just Jeez. capitalizing on the opponent's recovery to getting him off stage, making sure they have no double jump left, and after that, just, you know, getting nice. rid of their stocks. And there's Hungry Box. He's like, remember, you know, there, it's a team. Yeah. There's no I in team, but there is an M and a me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh-oh. Oh, that was good. He didn't try to go for the rest afterwards because Javi was right there. That being said, I guess it's worth the risk, right? What's the worst that'll happen? Nice by Hungry Box, just making sure that the edge is safe for Axe to come back. And here's another opportunity. Reverse Tail Spike! Axe. Has Axe got all the kills so far, except for that rest? Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> there was a rest. Jeez. Ooh, nice. Nice, you see that, right? Hungry Box went for the throw, and he blocked immediately because he saw Twin. Quinn was just right there. Are we going to see some next level stuff from Hungry Box where he's going to anticipate him and then kill the guy for coming in to try to save him? <laughs> that will be like some otherworldly stuff right there. Okay, no, that is it. Yeah, so six stocks for Axe, two for Hungry Box, if I'm not mistaken. Let's, Let's see. Oh, hello? The oh, game four. didn't even count it. it gave, the game said two for Hungry Box, four for Axe. Oh. Okay, well. We're going to just say six for us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Sakurai. <laughs> I'm just going to beg to differ here. <laughs> I disagree with your scoreboard mechanics there, buddy. <laughs> oh, jeez. That right. was a quick match. Yeah. Less than two minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. After seeing how fast that match went, I wouldn't want to rush into the next match, you know? Um, yeah, you'd I think probably uh, be tilted. I'm gonna go in with a clear head. Yeah, I think yeah. Javi is saying, "Mas despacio, por favor." Oh, uh, uh, maybe slower, less. please. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, I thought you said more space, because there's definitely <laughs> less space on this stage as we take it to Yoshi's store. <laughs> yep. Like the one phrase I know in Spanish, and it came in handy. <laughs> Here we go. Now, okay. This stage might be good Ooh. for the blue team to smother the, uh, you know, Jigglypuff and Pikachu with yeah. aerials and, you know, just uh, just exert their pressure, right, because it's a smaller stage. Oh. But, all right, all right, cool, cool. They got the stock, but here's the thing. Remember, Jigglypuff and Pikachu, their edge guards are phenomenal on these characters. Yeah. This stage is almost technically an edge. I mean, you all you have to do is just, like, one throw and these guys are off stage. So yeah. they have to be careful because... All this effort that they're putting Oof. to get rid of Pikachu and Jigs, Jigs could make up for that with just an edge guard. <laughs> I can't believe that killed at like 60%. <laughs> Most sinister thing I've heard all day. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's crazy. One of the few characters that can actually just fight their way from the edge. You know, it's like, oh, my, I'm at the edge. I'm just going to keep, you know, I'm just going to jump out there and keep kicking backwards until you get away. Right, yeah. right. I think what you said at the start of the match is exactly right. They are rushing them down and not giving them any <laughs> place to go. Getting so many up smash kills. Jeez. And I think Pikachu has a harder time edge guarding here because you saw, like, on Battlefield, he went way deep, or on uh, FD, he went way deep down there. And uh -huh. if he goes down here, he's just going to. Uh, loses stock, so yeah. a little bit harder to edge guard, perhaps, for Pikachu on this stage. But not quite Hungry Box. He is susceptible to getting knocked off the top a bit earlier, so you know what? I'm actually really liking this counter pick for these guys. Yeah, and I don't think that uh, down air forward smash low percent kill would have happened on any other stage, you know? Uh -huh. 
Ooh, Tamer out of shield is fast. Yeah, and the knockback is ridiculous too, as it took away that stock. Right. They almost had another opportunity to get the up smash. I, I was surprised they went for uh, Pikachu first. Okay, they got the Jigs. Hungry Box is out, and now we have Axe that needs to make it happen here. He has done one two-on-one -on -one comeback on stream thus far. And this matchup, he may do it if he gets a few solid openings on these on these guys. Oh, really good stuff by him just grabbing the edge just to make sure that the other guys couldn't force him to recover off stage. Mm -hmm. Okay, good DI as well, because that would have been a free follow-up. Oh, oh, and Axe, either that was a flub, or maybe he just decided, you know what? Let's just, uh, let's go to the next game. <laughs> Sometimes oh, yeah. that happens, you know, like, you, you try your best. You try so hard to win game two, and then you realize, you know, I'm wasting a lot of energy. And these tournaments are endurance tests. Yeah. Not only does he have to play in single uh, doubles, but he has singles as well. You know? And he had draft, and, you know, yeah. he had cruise and whatnot. So that can actually, like, really tire you out as a player. You know? Draining. Solid opening from Box there. Wow. Um, Twin actually seems like he knows what he's doing as Pikachu. Pikachu did a uh, forward air and he crouched against or shined it. Just, you know, he just kind of knew. Didn't allow him to get the grab right after. Yeah, Twin definitely looks like he's comfortable with this matchup. Mm -hmm. The way he's playing. He's actually taking it to Axe more so than uh, the other characters. Yeah. Aww. Oh man, dude, this tournament wow. is crazy. You, so guys, Wobbles actually lost to Milkman and DJ Nintendo. Hashtag G3, ladies and gentlemen, where the upsets are just happening here in 2016, man. Yeah, man, Melee is too hype. Everyone is putting in work, so Whoa. like Red and Milkman are really just going to town what? on these favorite flavors. I have to say, what a season opener. Yeah. Man. Jeez, so many unexpected upsets. Yeah, indeed. But back to the match. Um, let's see now. <clears throat> Five stocks apiece here. Hungry Box in a pretty decent position to uh, take that stock from. It looked like he had, was in a good position, but Twin already escaped. While at the, on the other side, Javi almost had a stock for Max with the up throw up air. Right. Oh, just one quick attack. It's a lot of neutral game right now. Just really feeling them out. Nice. Those, that was big for a green team. Two solid edge guards, and again, just splitting them up, and blue team is not allowed to help each other the way they're accustomed to, so they just get edge guarded for free, unfortunately. Oh, Hungry Box in a tough spot. You saw that, right? And, and Twin! Falco? Yeah. Up air kill? Twin getting the... Uh, I, when I saw that up air, I was like, eh, I didn't expect much, <laughs> right? <laughs> I bet everybody was thinking that back For at home. real? Yeah, but he actually got the KO, dude. Jeez. I don't dream land. Yeah, what? He got that odd sweet spot of the forward air, or uh, the up air for Falco. We see you, <laughs> Twin. And we're impressed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is tough for Javi, though. Okay, that was really smart. He went for the double jump, but and didn't even initiate the side B immediately. He did the little low, and then went for the side B while he was still high. Right. That's smart, you know, it's the little things that count. You throw off your opponent when it comes to edge guards, and oh, Hungry yeah. Box is really low here. Yeah. Axe looked like he was prepping himself to get a punish. Oh, they let Hungry Box land. Yeah. Oh, and That's a rest. a rest. Oh, big rest. Okay, Twin, 135%. Ah, this is tough. <laughs> okay, he didn't go for a ledge dash. Instead, going for an aerial, which resulted in him getting juggled into the skies and carried all the way to the right side of the stage. That is 2-1, Hungry Box and Axe. Yep, yep. And um, I don't know. We didn't see too much laser game from, from Twin mm. like we were expecting. Yeah. I think um, they were just right in their faces, so maybe the laser game is... Not being allowed. Whoever is fighting Twin is doing a good job just keeping him occupied, I think. And both of these players are capable of doing that. For sure. All right, well, Pokemon Stadium is going to be the stage that we're going to see here. Game four. Game four. 
always really funny when someone shines the Thunder Jolt and just goes back up the same trajectory yeah, that he right, came just... down. <laughs> it's like, hmm, this looks unnatural. Wow, sick t um, tech chase right there by Hungry Box. A lot of players tend to tech in whenever they get knocked on the platforms, right? So that's a good catch. It looked like a lot of reaction from Hungry Box. He just like jumped around the platform. He was like, I can wait and see what you commit to. True, he has that aerial mobility too, which allows for it. Right, right. Okay, a lot of edge game here. And a big miss from Hungrybox there. That rest was yep. his to lose. But he's, he still has a stock remaining. Mm -hmm. Axe, on the other hand, is down one. And so is Twin, leaving the, both of these teams at seven apiece. Right. Oof. Nice. Yep, but Axe is still alive, though. Not quite losing the stock yet. I like that up air from Javi there. Oh, that laser ruining everything for Axe and allowing Javi to just come back on stage. That's amazing. He tail spiked him. He was gone. And then he yeah. just lasered him right after the tail spike hit. He was like, I got you, bro. <laughs> yeah. Literally, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Nice. Jab and then reads the jump up air. Smart stuff oh. from Javi. Okay, oh, okay. Twins, Twins really feeling it right now. <laughs> He's really feeling it. This guy said, all right, that's it. I think we're about to win this, bro. Let's do this. And just jumps off stage. He needs to, you know, stay composed, though. There it is. Yeah, They're yeah. calm. Look at that. The space hey. animals just standing next to each what other. What was Whoa, that shine? that was intense. Why did that was shine like, him so far? Yeah, I was about to ask, was the, uh, was... I don't know. I think he, like, got stage spiked. <laughs> he yeah. got shined into that uh, mountain part, and then it just popped him up. Hello. That was pretty Crazy. hard. Oh, jeez. Interruption right there by Javi saying, nope, stop tech chasing. Yeah. I got that up smash on deck. Indeed. Ooh, and an interesting pound because he knew that he was going to tech on the platform there. It's just a lot of interruptions from both of these guys. And Twin getting a little too happy near the edge. He has to remember that even if he's a bird, he doesn't quite fly as well. No, sir. This bird has got his wings clipped. Yes. Nice. Oh Sweet my gosh. gosh! Javi was like, I think you might miss this, so let me uh, let me assist real quick. <laughs> yeah, the Javi assist. Marvel 3, let's right, go. Right, the Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> Javi just comes in and he's like, Magneto, farewell! <laughs> right after he gets the hit. Except he says it in Spanish. <laughs> Hasta luego, you know? <laughs> yup. Oh, jeez. I like the grab right there. You saw the pummels by Twin. He wanted to get the up smash, but um, it looked like Hoppy was a bit preoccupied at the moment. Mm -hmm. It's definitely looking like game... Uh, uh, we might see a game five, dude. Yeah. Yeah, look at Blue. They have the control of the stage. Okay, there goes Axe. Hungry Box, top world-class player here. Can probably still bring it back, but he's at 60% and rising as these space animals keep firing lasers. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay. The down air from nowhere just destroys that stock. Yeah, just so much hit stun on that. There's no opportunity for him to. There's never going to be an opportunity for him to meteor cancel that. No, as, sir. Uh, it's a true spike. When it comes to true spikes, once your hit stun wears off, that's when you can finally act. It's game over. Yeah. So, unfortunately for Huggy Box, there was so much that he just went straight down into the blast zone, losing game four. We're going to game five here. Mm -hmm. And. This is the counter pick for Hungry Box and Axe. Yeah, this is it. Because wow. uh, game one was won by. Was it won by them? Game one? Who won game one? Game one was won by Hungry Box, Box and, and Axe. Axe. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Axe got all those crazy, crazy tail, spikes. tail spikes. Yeah, yeah. So. so here it is the back pocket counter pick. That's how Hungry Box and Axe have kind of been doing. They start off real strong, like Hungry Box with his five rests on the other set, and then, I don't know, they. The punish game starts to fade away over time. I'm not sure what's going on, but yeah, game five. Game five. All right. Let's see. So we're going back. It's you know it's funny. <laughs> this almost looks like the end of a movie, where at the beginning of a movie there was a battle <laughs> on a particular air in a particular area, and right near the end of the movie they're like, oh, we've come full circle. Oh yeah. Here it is, game five. <laughs> where we started. Yep. This is Twin and Javi's opportunity to show that they've uh, learned the matchup and that they're able, you know, to oh, actually best big. these oh. guys. Woo. Oh. That would have been a nice start for Blue Team, to yeah. say the least. Two stock leads are really big, especially mm -hmm. against these guys. 
Yeah. Okay, another Again. opportunity. But oh. Axe with the interruption, good fair. Just telling him to stop. I don't think Javi needed to do the jump up air. I think he had enough time to do the up smash. Yeah, he was. He could have just went for it and then afterwards get hit by, you know. Pikachu, yeah. Pikachu. That might bite him back. We'll see. Whoa! <laughs> the technology from 2007. <laughs> Still alive right. in 2016. Still alive. <laughs> still alive. PC Chris, if you are watching, we thank you. The back throw to forward smash. I still remember that. He did that in like an FC crew battle. Oh. And I was like, oh, I'm so stealing that. Thanks, PC. I mean, really, just no one expected it. And doing the unexpected thing is the right call sometimes. Oh, oh God, Javi. I mean, twin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fine. They're twins. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. you can mix them up. Amazing angle from twin. Okay, yeah, they, they had to pull out all the stops to take that stock from Twin, though. Yep. Back and forth. Hungry Box losing that stock. Axe nearly losing that one. And you, you can see how Hungry Box, the moment he came into the field, they all repositioned themselves. They're like, yeah, okay. Uh, oh, he bumps his head. 73%. Hubby, he was actually facing backwards, so Axe did not need oh. to go for the edge guard. Axe did not need to go for the edge guard. And Javi didn't have to get off the edge because oh. he could have actually edge hogged Axe. Oh, my God. This is a crazy set. Okay, Hungry Box saying, I'm not going out without a fight. Okay, back throws him right, right into Hungry Box. Yep. <laughs> He's like, here, you want your teammate, you can have him. <laughs> Just tosses him right in there. Oh, jeez. Okay, here, here comes. Wow, all right, Axe is fighting now. He's going to come out swinging. The man has 29%. He can afford to take some trades here. Yes, he can. <laughs> There's nice. the L smash, okay? It took a while, Ooh. but it took a while, but he got it. <sighs> All right, right there, I thought Javi was actually just trying to dance with the devil. You saw Axe at the edge, trying to toss out those ledge hop tail no. spikes. Oh, Twin. wait a second, Twin's Twin. gone! But wait, let's not get too crazy, because he's, he could share stock. Yo, but Twin that. jumps back with the down air. I guess he was trying to maybe trade. Oh, oh no. there's a rest! Kill him! He can't, that, you can't. he can't! Like, oh my god, why is he Axe. so clutch? Okay. There's the back air. He's still alive. Uh-huh. It's this all is... up to Twin here. Twin has to watch out. I think he recognized that Axe trying uh -huh. to go for that ledge hop tail spike. Uh -huh. There's the up smash. Another one. Oh, he gets no! a regret. And there's oh the my rest. Gosh. What a comeback. Oh, my God. Twin and Javi, what a heartbreak. What a game. Oh, my gosh. Each of them kind of had a flub of their own, and that was enough. Axe and, Axe and Hungrybox just clutching it out with that team's combo at the